Hi, I'm Steve Sandler, Managing Director and CTO at PicoTest. In this short video, I'll show you how to measure low impedance components and voltage regulator impedance using the Bode 100 and the PicoTest P2101A two-port probe. Here the Bode 100 is shown with the two-port probe and J2102A coaxial transformer connected to the output and channel 2 of the Bode 100. After starting the Bode Analyzer Suite, we want to start a new measurement, which is the default. Next, select the Impedance Analyzer tab. From the Impedance menu, search for and select Shunt Through, and then Start Measurement. Next, click on Full Range Calibration. Here, I'm using the pointed probe tip, so the two ports are already connected together. Click on Start for the Through Calibration. Once it's complete, the indicator turns green, indicating that the calibration has been performed. I'm using the open calibration port on the PicoTest VRTS3 training board. Otherwise, leave the probe unconnected. Then click Start for the open calibration. Once that's been completed, the indicator turns green, indicating that the calibration was successfully performed. Next, connect the probe to a shorted plane. Here I'm using the short calibrator on the VRTS3 board. Then click Start for the short calibration. Once it's complete, the indicator turns green, indicating that the calibration was successfully performed. Next, we'll connect the probe to a 50 ohm terminator. Here I'm using the 50 ohm load port on the VRTS3 board. Click Start for the load calibration. As before, once it's completed, the indicator turns green, indicating that the calibration was successfully performed. Now we can measure the 1 ohm resistor on the VRTS3 board to verify the calibration. The resulting plot should be a flat line at 1 ohm, just as we see here. Next, we can try measuring a precision 6.5 milliohm chip resistor. Here we can see the resistance and also the resistor inductance. I'll save this measurement to memory. Next, we'll measure a precision 50 milliohm chip resistor. Here we can see the 50 milliohm resistance and also the resistor inductance. I'll save this measurement to memory also. Voltage regulator impedance is measured exactly the same way. If the voltage regulator is less than 3.3 volts, we can connect it directly to the Bode 100. Otherwise, Include the P2130A DC blocks that ship with the probe on each Bode 100 connector before performing the calibration. Here I'm measuring the impedance of the VRTS3 linear regulator with a ceramic capacitor and a low ESR tantalum capacitor both selected. In another video, I'll show you how to determine the regulator stability directly from this impedance peak. We can also measure the output impedance of the switching regulator that's on the VRTS3 board. This impedance plot shows peaks and valleys, both of which are undesirable, but we've successfully measured the output impedance of the switching regulator. Once you've completed your measurement, you can directly export it as either a Z format or S format file for using your power integrity simulator. Measuring voltage regulator impedance with the Bode 100 and the two-port probe is quick and easy. Find everything you need to make this measurement here.